Oh, we're going to see how my phone does at making videos here for YouTube. So let's go ahead and give it a shot here. Let's see what happens. As you can see, we got the Kenwood Double Din DDX7019. Very nice deck. I got the Power Acoustic EQ right here. That's only hooked up to the subwoofer. It's to help the voltage down the line of the RCA since this deck does only produce two volts. This helps to increase that. And then we also have here a Phoenix Gold base cube, which as you can see is laying down right there. You got the Phoenix Gold 500.4, old school titanium. You got the Gidon 10K, baby, 10K, oh shit. Then we got the uh, titanium 12 inch subs in the trunk, the Phoenix Gold Titanium Elite. And we also have three of the Kinetic 2400s. We have a high output 270 amp Mechman alternator. Um, I'm going to be having the big three done here really soon. That should help with the voltage down the lines. Help feed that amplifier what it needs to produce the power. Um, as far as vocals in this car, we have the MB Quart. Old school Q series. And we also have, up in there, we have the, the Polk. The Polk SR 6500s, which are very nice as well. And we also have an old school Phoenix Gold equalizer up in the back window, but it is not hooked up at this time because I'm trying to figure out a way to get rid of the road noise when I hook it up. Um, anybody out there who may have an idea on how to do that, you know, feel free. Feel free to comment and let me know. Any help is appreciated. Just like I will help any of you out there the best I can. Just let me know if you have any questions of anything. Um... Bad thing happened this morning. Uh, I was robbed by some someone, I don't know who. Um, all they took out of my car here was my Zune, um, my charger, and of all things, my electric razor, my $10 electric razor. Good God. What a bunch of dumbasses. Uh, however, my girl's, my fiance's truck, the Explorer that you all remember, that had the DD 1508s in it, two of them in a custom box with a Power Base 1500, XA 1500, and a Soundstream Tarantula TRX uh, 320.4 all got taken out of there. The motherfuckers took that shit. But, hey, uh, you know, when I find you, or when the police find you, which you better hope they find you before I do, you know, I'm going to kick your ass and beat the shit out of you. I'm army strong, motherfucker. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Just kidding. But really, may God be with you. But here's a little taste. I've rambled on enough. All right. Let's find ourselves a good track on here. It's uh, our... SPL CD for our competition for a league. Um, pretty good stuff. Uh, just gotta find the right track, like I say. It's been a while since I've used it. Here we go. This is a test. Please set all equalization flaps as this test may damage speakers. May damage speakers. The audible threshold for human ear. You have been warned.
Here comes the best part! Ultimate base. 10 hertz. 20 hertz. 30 hertz. got the idea I'm sure sounds pretty good in here I still have a hell of a lot of tuning to do with this setup but um, yeah it's pretty nice I got all the fucking wires right there going in that big ass 10k the only one in the US that's right only one in the US some guy just recently ordered a 5k which um, is supposedly gonna be here soon hopefully that guy has as good luck with that amp as I have with mine it's a phenomenal amp I really, really recommend you guys get in touch with the guys at Car Audio Pros and check it out for yourself. You know, they're not that expensive and they're really, really good. They're phenomenal amplifiers. If you are interested, just uh, let me know on my page and I can give you the info that you'll need and you can hook up with uh, the Car Audio Pros. And yeah, that's about it. I hope this turned out good because otherwise it was a big waste of my motherfucking time. Later.